ladies and gentlemen welcome back to fallout 4 my name is brian your host and commentator <clears throat> let me get a little clearing of the throat there I did that right before i started recording too so i had to <laughs> clear my throat again right after i hit record anyway yeah so my name is brian how you guys doing i'm doing good we're over here at the slog because we're about to head north to the parsons state insane asylum that's right, we are going to do the, uh, we're going to complete the Secret of Cabot House quest line. So, let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to swim, put this weapon away. Here we go. All right. Oh, I'm out of AP. Oh, no. Sneak. <laughs> I don't ever fucking sneak. I'm trying to remember all the controls. I don't know why I pressed start there. Didn't really need to. But anyway. Oh shit, we got some enemies. Ah! Uh, raiders. Raider scum. Ah, you bitch. There we go. Let's get this clown up here. Oh! That's fun. All right. There's a lot of dead raiders around here and stuff. Ooh, there's some dead guys up here. Make sure we nab all these fusion cells, of course. Ooh, more fusion cells. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and finish off the quest line. I know I already said that, but... It's going to be the main objective for this episode. Maybe if we have time, we'll go somewhere else, too. Off to a little side area. Do a little bit of exploring and discovery. Oh, look who it is. Oh, these guys have a lot of shit. A lot of shotgun shells. That's good. Maria! Oh, I don't know who you are. I don't remember. Is that someone important? Mercenary. Anyway, let's uh, let's go in. So I started recording. Well, I got two two series coming up. I'm gonna do those kind of in conjunction with Fallout 4. I did some recording of one of them yesterday. I gotta start recording the other one. One of them will be finished kind of quick. The other one might take a little bit more time. Okay, so basically this door that would take us right there is locked. How fucking convenient. Uh, Alright, yeah. And in this location we have a bobblehead and we have a, um, <laughs> a magazine. So, just a heads up on that. Let's see. Let's go. Wait, that's where we came in. We gotta go this way, right? Oh no, that's also locked. Oh, this door. Get some, motherfucker. Ooh. Oh, what you say? Ow. <laughs> Did Hancock just like try and drop kick him? Make him trip. Oh, sorry, Hancock. Oh. Luckily, he can't die. Oh, move. <laughs> that guy's like, hey, what's going on? Oh. Just gets rocked. Hancock sees someone up top. We'll get to them eventually. Don't worry, buddy. Got you a lot of ammo. It's good for you. Oh, shit, there's a turret. They got it. Oh, it's a Mark one. That ain't shit. Ah. Uh. Ah, fuck. Nice. Okay, let's... We gotta finish exploring down here, guys. Come on now. Quit being so anxious and pushy. But yeah, so... Just found some time to record today, finally. You know, I'm feeling it. 
Kind of got a little burnt out for a while there, so I only uploaded like two videos in the past like two, three weeks or so. <laughs> but whatever. <sighs> oh shit. Legendary. Ooh. Go ahead and stun him first. I don't know why I would wait until the last one. Cloaking combat armor, right arm. Wonder if that's as good as mine. Like stat wise, it's it's got a cool effect, I guess. Once you get hit, enter stealth mode or something, activate stealth mode. Or invisibility. See what's in here. Got it. Okay. Oh, there's a safe. <clears throat> Don't want to pass you up. Ah, oh, fuck. So I think it's to the right. Let's put it... Yeah, we'll try it right here. There we go. Cold watch, snub nose pistol. Maybe I should have took the gold watch. Oh, well. Jeez, there's a lot going on in here. I don't want to skip all this. Oh, there's nothing in here anyway, so fuck it. Move, Hancock. Oh, jeez. Oh, rad roaches. Oh, no, not a rad roach! Glowing rad roach. Moving along. Just to kind of recap, we searched for his... Well, we went and got the... Or we... <laughs> I, I can't remember exactly what we did. We met up with someone, though. Oh, we can unlock the chain now. To get to get an item or to make sure, like, the caravan was okay? Something like that? I don't quite remember. Anyway, here's the bobblehead. Hell yeah. Charisma, which is awesome. That's what my character is all about. To the basement, like you wanted, and shut it down. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. Yeah, haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think it's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. <laughs> Looks like it. Definitely reached the Can't rely on these ghouls for nothing. I don't understand how they knew how to get past here. <laughs> it doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Oh, fuck. I want to talk. I didn't mean to do that. Or do I have to... Oh, I talked to you. That's why. What exactly is going on here? I suppose it's time you knew. You may have guessed by now that my family and I have lived for a very long time, thanks to the serum derived from my father's blood. I discovered the alterations to his blood in some of my earliest attempts to remove the artifact. I eventually isolated the anomalous compounds which led to the serum treatment we still use. Whoa. Why can't you remove the artifact? When Lorenzo put it on, it somehow fused itself with his nervous system. All my early attempts to remove it nearly killed Lorenzo. Me. Since then, I've confined myself to trying to understand how it works in the hopes of neutralizing or disabling it. It's hard to overstate exactly how dangerous the artifact has made Lorenzo. In addition to being homicidally psychotic, he has also gained enhanced strength and unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. He also commands a kind of local telekinesis, which appears oh, to be boy. projected by the artifact itself. Now, we need to get to the basement before these intruders find a way to set Lorenzo free. Follow me. Ooh. Be careful, Jack. All right, let's do it. The magazine's going to be towards the end of this dungeon, so... We got a little ways to go before then. Where are we going? Are we taking the elevator? Oh. Guess not. Alright, following you, dude. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, now he unlocks this middle door. Couldn't do that before. Oh, shit. Berserk Raider. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Not like he deals any damage. Oh, Jack's down. Can I heal you? Oh, you're good. Just gets right back up. Oh, fuck. Ooh. You know what? I should probably use a rat away. Get some more of this health going. <laughs> Pop these fools. Roar! <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> ah. Need to reload now. Oh, there he is. Okay, well, now that I'm down here, I'm gonna check this guy's body. Nothing cool. Let's see what this guy had. Well, that was okay. He, he had some. It was worth it, in my opinion. Alright, let's go. Back up top. Pretty interesting quest here. We never used this way. Nobody's been in here for decades. No telling what we'll run into. Oh my god. Let's fucking go, man. Quit standing around. I'm trying to get paid. Make that money. Oh, shit. Just rushes in there. Doesn't give a damn. <laughs> oh, he got her. <clears throat> oh, jeez. I don't know why I'm hard aiming. <laughs> Anyone else? No? Okay. Man, so who else is... Tired of all the CSGO stuff going on. It's crazy, man. It's everywhere. Little gambling site, CSGO Lotto. It's nuts. First, it was all like. See, I think that's what kind of did it for me. It was like. I was, I don't know. I was just recording my videos. Well, the first thing that happened was E3. E3 came first, right as I ran out of videos, and I just kind of like took those days off to watch E3 and. You know, watch it I, on YouTube. I didn't actually watch it as it was streaming, because fuck that. I'll just wait till you know, it comes up on YouTube, but I just kind of did those. Watched them on YouTube. And I wanted to kind of, I don't know, just see what was coming up in the next, in the, in the near gaming future. Because it's stuff I really care about, you know. I like E3. A lot of people are like, E3's pointless and dumb, and I'm like, yeah. I mean, it is, but it's it's all we got, you know, as far as this stuff goes. I did not want to talk to you. But, like, you know, as far as, like, game stuff goes, E3 is a big moment. It's a big time of the year for us. We don't really have, like, you know, there's, like, Tokyo Game Show and stuff, but... Like, fuck, it's, like, the biggest gaming event in America, you know? <laughs> Gotta appreciate it for something. So, I don't know. So, you know, I got into that. Uh, I thought E3 was pretty good, though. I, I thought it was a pretty good year. I was... I, I enjoyed Nintendo's little video thing they did. Instead of doing, like, you know, a press conference. Like, I wish they would do. So I love those. Love the press conferences. They are pretty awkward, though, at times. And, like, stuff goes wrong, you know. I understand that. But, like, whatever, dude. It's, it happens. It's a live entertainment. But, you know, I don't know. I thought it was good. I loved Microsoft's. So I thought they had a really good E3 show. Really good. And uh, Sony's was pretty good. I know I talk a lot of shit about Sony, but Sony's was pretty good. What the hell? 
Whoa! He's standing in the middle here. Hancock, join the party. He'd, get, he'd be down. He'd be like, oh yeah, this is my kind of shit. Whoa! There's someone in here, Jack, and you're just sitting there all willy-nilly. It's okay, I got it. Don't worry about me. Now we got you, you just we just kinda jump down here. I guess I've done worse. But uh okay, so back to E3. Uh EA had a garbage one as always. Just a bunch of sports shit. Didn't show anything about Mass Effect Andromeda, which I'm so excited about. Can't wait for that. But uh yeah, they didn't show shit for that, you know? It was like a trailer or whatever. Something small, nothing special, spectacular. And that was all I cared about from E3. Like, literally, that was all I would want to see coming from them. Ubisoft, didn't care. Did not care. Uh, For Honor, I'm still, you know, excited about that game. That looks pretty cool. That's probably the only Ubisoft game I can think of right now. That, And, you know, the new South Park thing's cool. That's cool and all. I'm looking forward to that game as well. I'm not going to lie. That's it from Ubisoft, though. Who else did a press... Oh, Bethesda. Bethesda's was okay. Not as good as, like, last year's, where they were like, Fall 4's coming out in, like, three months, and, like, laid down all this shit. And I really would like to have seen some some good Evil Within stuff. Okay. Jack. Better get up. Thank you. I was like, please don't, I don't know, glitch out on me or something. In fact, why don't I just do a quick save just to make sure... I should get used to doing that. Little quick saves. Oh, I thought you were gonna. Oh, okay, he is gonna open it. So yeah, and then uh, Nintendo. You know, I watched a lot of the Zelda shit. It's about all I watched, though. I didn't care about. I guess there's a Monster Hunter stuff coming out, and they talk a little bit about the new Pokemon game. But Zelda was the only thing I cared about that Nintendo had to talk about. And I watched all the videos. It looks really cool. You know, they had, they showed off like. Seen like an hour and a half's worth of gameplay footage, and it looked really cool. It's interesting how different they're going in that route. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Who the fuck's this dude with the hammer? I will stop this. I you better not come in here. Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free. I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Those are some balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. Alright. Let's take this motherfucker out. Hey, Hammer. Hammer boy. That's not him. Where'd he go? He's still walking around. Hey, Hammer! Oh, it's not hammer either. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open I'm opening the main door. Hurry. The All right, let's do this. <laughs> Fuckers. Oh. Oh, there's hammer. Should probably stun him. Woo. Okay, let's uh let's kill him while he's down. Fuck the other guys, they don't deal a whole lot of damage. Ugh. Eat it. Get the rest of these clowns all mopped up. Oh mysterious stranger! <laughs> Here to save the day. Is he? I don't know. You look pretty crazy with that hat. Hancock, what are you doing? Oh, the door closed on him. Everything my son has told you about me is a self-serving lie. That must be obvious now. Oh man. I don't know, dude. 
I mean, pressing the button on this door is very tempting. But... And you got a magazine in there that I want. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. You already know what I'm going to do. I can't let this fucking crazy dude go free. Please, just open the door. Hey, Lorenzo. Hey, Lorenzo. Hey, that's fucking two, bro. That's two. You want to see me pull three? You want to see me pull three? He d he wants to see. Oh, okay. Let's uh. Okay, pull it. Come on, I'm looking like a jackass right now. There we go. Hey, that's three, motherfucker. Three. Hey, bitch. Three. I wish I could hold up three fingers right now to the window. Be like three. Whisper it to him. Three. Think back on everything Jack has told you. Oh. You know, dude, I, I I can't lie, it's you, man. Nah, man, nah, turn my back to him. Nah, bro, it's you, you're the crazy one. I gotta do it, I gots to do it! Alright, let's go watch his death in person. Oh! <laughs> See, the father's argument was that he was experimenting on him and would never let him go and stuff. Which is possible. But, I don't know, you kind of got to pick or choose. Here's the the uh, thing. Permanently flick plus two limb damage. Nice. There's the magazine, though. It's got little books and stuff. Any overdue books in here? Librarian Brian. The librarian. Librarian. Ah, that's lame. <laughs> that's. I don't know. That sounds funny. Um, yeah, let's take a suit. Why not? Why the fuck not? It's a named artifact. Artifact, a named item. Ooh, apparently I need something in that alarm clock. I'm gonna wait for, uh, Jack to get around here. Cause he got, uh, he got, like, glitched out here. In my other file. And he ended up staying down here and he won't leave. So every time I want to talk to him I have to come here. Which, I mean, I only want to talk to him one more time. After this. He offers to make you a weapon out of the artifact. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, it looks like we got time to explore some other place. I wonder where we should go. Hmm. Hmm. I know there's going to be a lot later on. No, we didn't. What would we have done? What would he have done if he'd gotten free? Oh, he would have killed both of us. And then the rest of my family. And that would only have been the beginning. His crimes, back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now, it's a world made for monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No, I've answered my own question. We truly had no choice. What now? What now? I to bury my father. Shut down this place. What an asshole. I'm, I'm not like, hey man, I'm sorry for your loss. You I'm just go. like, well, what now? What are we going to do now? I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. And that's the final quest in this quest line. Don't, don't need, need me. Anymore. No, without Parsons to run, I don't think I'll need such an extensive staff. Saving your family's got to be worth more than that. You know, I was so close to understanding the artifact. Now that I can study it directly, I may be able to do something useful with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. Yeah, so if we come back here a week from now, obviously in game time, uh, we will... Did I? I didn't search these guys, did I? Where's Lefty at? What? Did he have a, he had a special weapon? Did he have a super sledge? What the hell is that? Alright, Lefty. He wasn't even swinging at Lefty. 
I'm a lefty, too. I know this shit. He was swinging it like a fucking righty. That's fine, though. Whatever. Maybe he writes left-handed. That's what they're talking about. Anyway. Control room terminal. Alright. Well, I guess the elevator's fine and dandy now. So we can just grab this and head on up. Ready to level up. That'd be really cool. If I could level up, like, once per episode, that'd be wonderful. That'd be wonderful. I'm pretty close, though, this time, but I don't think I'm gonna level up this episode. It'd be pretty fucking sweet, though. Uh, let's look at our map really quick. So where could we go? I'm not gonna hit up this place, like, all this stuff until much later. Is this... Oh, yeah, that's where, uh... That's where Mercer Safe House is. Oh, no, this is where Mercer Safe House is. Why did we go to the Crater House? Oh, we didn't go. Oh, we found that because of the, uh... I think the the children of Adam people that were here. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, they hit sheriff's office. Could go to Nordhagen Beach. What do our quests have? So yeah, we're we're gonna start these guys in a little bit. Next episode, we're gonna do this one. We're gonna start the first part of McCready's quest. Glowing sea. Listen to Valentine's detective agency radio. And this is main quest. This is DLC. That we're not gonna do for a while. Bring Kate. That's when we're on our way to the main quest. We gotta talk to the settlers in Nordhagen Beach. Talk to some of the. Oh, we could go to County Crossing and complete that, and knock out this. You know what? Yeah, let's let's not. We're we're not gonna explore any other places quite yet. Actually, we're not gonna do this one because we're gonna do that one later. Let's uh, County Crossing. That's not what I wanted. This is what I want as well. So let's go to County Crossing. So I can. Oh, can't try. <laughs> of course I can't. So I can complete these quests and get them kind of out of the way. Ding. All right. And, oh boy. Oh wait, where's Edward? Is he good? Did Edward make it? I hope he made it. It's my buddy. My friend. What's over here? Oh, this is to the exit. That's right. Oh, Edward was... Oh, no, he was over there. Okay. Fucking whatever. Let's get out of here. I'm ready to go. I think Edward just returns back to their house. I don't think we'll ever revisit the house or anything like that. Because, I don't know, fuck it, whatever. I, I just don't think there's any quests that take us back there. We already had three quests with these guys anyway. We did a lot with them. They're one of the more, you know reoccurring NPCs, which is pretty cool, if I do say so. Alright, County Crossing. Wow! But yeah, we'll be able to, uh... We're, we're gonna go to the Mass Pike Interchange, and we'll finish the first half of McCready's quest. Because once you get him to a certain, like appreciation level with you or whatever follower inspiration level whatever the fuck they're called uh he, it stays there until you complete this quest and it won't like continue to grow and so you can get like max you know appreciation with him so we got to complete this quest holy shit dude hey, it's a doctor doc weathers yeah cool all right what the fuck am i doing here again county crossing that's right <clears throat> i need to go this way Well, hello, good people. Uh, the people of County Crossing, the two of you, two dudes. Did you have any luck with those raiders? Fuck yeah, we did. Hey, yo, I'm trying to talk to you. I took care of those raiders for you. Hey, don't ignore me. That's the best news I've heard in a long time. game's glitchy. By the way, we've talked about it, and we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. It's true. Oh, yeah, we gotta go turn that into fucking Preston. He's gonna try and drop another quest on us. Uh, okay, well, let's go ahead and talk to the settlers at Nordhagen Beach. Nordhagen? Hagen Hagen, East Boston Preparatory School. Let's go. I'll end the episode once we speak to them. So I don't know if we cleared out their ghoul or whatever problem 
they're having raider problem. I don't know if we cleared it out. We might have. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. It was a good time, though. I'm glad I got to get back into this. Feeling it, you know? Feeling good. <sighs> I'm going to try and bust out a lot more videos and stuff. I have another online Gears of War video that I just need to edit. Oh, jeez. I don't like the music. Ah! I'm just going to run to Nordhagen Beach. Hopefully I don't run into any enemies. And they're up. <sighs> oh yeah, there's like a, a race track or whatever right there. That's right. Let's head down here. We'll, we'll head up that place later. We're going to check out the whole like Zone 4 region a bit later. Kind of when we're like going through the Brotherhood of Steel stuff. We'll explore these areas and take care of them, take them out, clear out Zone 4, and then we'll probably head towards the main quest. Get everything we can down there in the bottom left-hand corner, and then probably complete the bottom right-hand corner just before beating the main quest, because Bethesda's already announced there next DLC, which is Nuka World, and I would like to get through Far Harbor. Ooh. I got the idiot savant on the location we discovery. Really Could've used it on the quest. I'm with the Minutemen. How can I help? Something nasty is living just around the corner from here. It's only a matter of time before there's some real trouble. What's really too bad is it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. In fact, I know some folks that'd love to set up there if it was safe. If you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. Where is this place? We have a pretty good idea. I hope you can find them and... What do we gotta do? Croup Manor? It's all the fuck the way up here. Yeah, so we're probably not gonna get to that for a little bit then. Wish you guys were sending it somewhere close by. Anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Kind of map out what we're gonna do next episode. And I'll go turn in that quest to... Um, what's his face to? Preston. Off, off screen so you don't have to watch me do that but yeah anyways uh thank you guys for watching don't forget to like the video and consider subscribing if you really enjoy my content you know don't do it because i ask for it at the end of the episode just do it because you know you like to i don't know you enjoy the channel so my name is brian and i'll see you guys in the next one